guys welcome to a new video it's your boy lino today we're looking at big time okay what a project this is uh, you're gonna see a little bit about that and the gameplay coming up but i want to show you what you need to do to get started how to make an account and um what you need to do to get your vip pass redeemed okay So if we head over to um, nft.bigtime.gg, this is where you can go and make an account. You can go log in and start to redeem the NFT pass you've paid for, okay? So if we go to redeem VIP pass, there's three ways of doing it. You could have one from the game. Uh, I don't actually have one in the game. You can see Silver Redemption actually opened up uh, last week and Jade opens up in about two weeks, okay? So if you have one of these, uh, if you had it on OpenSea, you'd go about it a different route. So you have your big time or you have your exchange so exchange with polygon uh if you have it in your ethereum wallet all you need to do is send signature request that signature request will then redeem the nft that nft is actually burnt into the into the game and once it's burnt obviously you know you can't get that back okay so if you spent you know 500 dollars, we're just going to quickly go to OpenSea, and we're going to type in big time studios that one there just to make sure there's no confusion go to the big time studios created collections and then you see the big time founders collection okay this is where you can get the passes so you can see we have the silver pass for 0.34 ethereum we have the jade for 0.03 and then we have the gold for 1.2 okay now the difference between all of these is the not only the speed in which you could access the game but it also means you can get some sick item in the game you can get lands you can get rare lands legendary lands you can get a lot of good loot just from having and burning that VIP access badge. I'm sure they're going to look after you if you redeemed it is what I'm trying to say, okay? You know, the team here are huge. They've got history of Fortnite, Gears of War, Call of Duty, Overwatch. The founder was from Decentraland, so they've got good gaming experience and good NFT gaming experience. So really, really confident for this game. You're going to see the, the gameplay footage coming up and how bonkers it is. I'm, I'm super excited to be able to play the game right now. Um, but that's, that's what you need to do, guys. So you head over here. You get your pass, then you head over to here, and then you, all you need to do is, I'm not gonna send you the link to download it because if you don't have an account, you know, I'm not gonna make you download the game, but if you just follow the steps and it allows you to download the game, you download, you log into the same account which you created on your website, and that should then bring up the option to, to log in, okay? So I'm currently on the staging, which is uh, just helping out with uh, some updates and stuff like that. But if you have the normal game, you want to be on the main main client, okay? So how you how you would do that? You see, I'm on the staging here. Yeah, yours should be on live, okay? So if it's on live, you install the update, you play the game, and bang, big time is going to be a huge game in my opinion. It sort of has this No Man's Sky a mix with Diablo 3 um, gameplay. Also animations, and you can see, you know, it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, this is a blockchain game, so there's going to be play to earn me mechanisms coming in in the future. Uh, how that's going to be mainly done is via skins. So, you know, if you've played Diablo 3, anything like that, you'll know that you go on raids, you know, you pick up items, you can sell those items on the marketplace. You know, instead of selling it to directly to a shop for gold, you might want to go into the marketplace and actually sell the item, okay? So we're just going to quickly run over to the main section here, which is um, just a little bit of a of a of an opening scene for you if you're if you're new. So this is really where um, you can speak to bots. You can go and pick up some starter items. Um, you can really just start to mess around with some combat here as well. So we're just going to quickly show you. You know, if we chat with Android, it's going to bring up a load of starter items. Okay. Now, this is not what you're going to need straight out the bat. This is not what you're going to need, but this is just showing you exactly what you can get around here. You know, you can attack these things and, 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 and kill them, uh, and that's going to give you a little bit of XP, okay? But what we're going to do, we're going to run up this hill over here. If you just see uh, this path, if we run up this path, if you hold the shift button to sprint, we're going to run up this path, and when we get to the top, we're going to see an absolutely beautiful shrine. So you can see up here, you know, beautiful graphics. I'm playing this on low, by the way, guys, just because this game is so graphic intensive that, you know, I obviously don't have a good enough computer and I spend a lot on it. So <laughs> I'm going to need to get a better computer. Um, but you can see here, this is just a random block sitting there. So it says mine. We're going to go ahead and mine that. You don't need any tools. You just press E on it and it gives you some ore. Okay. 
Now this ore is going to be used in crafting, uh, but right now, you know, you can pick it up and actually go sell it on the store, which is really great. But if you head over to these computers here, you see there's actually a few different computers here, okay? So you can chat with Genis Khan, the Time Warrior Trainer. So we're going to chat to him. And there we are. Here's a bunch of starter Time Warrior gear for you. So he basically just gave me Timeline Compass, okay? So we're, we're going to show you what that means in a second. We're just going to go claim all of these. So, you know, we've got our Shadow Blade. We have our Benjamin Franklin, the Quantum Fixer. And then finally, the last one we have is the Chronomancer, okay? So there we are, we have all of our timelines. We go to change timeline here by pressing the, the tab button. You know, we have a few different timelines here, guys, okay? So we have a Shadow Blade, which we've been working on off stream. We have a Time Warrior. We have a Chronomancer. And we have a Quantum Fixer, okay? Now, I am in the process of ranking these guys up. You can see in the top, I'm rank six. Your rank carries through the whole game, but your level is on each character, okay? And you can choose how you skill up your character. You can see a sort of like a, a leveling up system. You can choose what you want to do. You can choose which path you want to go down. And interestingly, the weapons are actually attributed to stats, okay? So the weapons traditionally in games like this would normally be like if you're a, a chronomancer, you have to use a staff. Well, it sort of changes the meta. And if you have the right stats, you can actually use the right items, okay? So if I go to this item here, you can see that the strength is at least 18 and the dexterity is at least 3. And I have 41 and 12, so I can use that item. But if we go to the pants up above, it says that there's a red for dexterity. I need at least 33 dexterity and I only have 12. So you can really customize how you want. You don't need to follow a set path. If you want a certain item, you know, you can put it on your set character, okay? We've actually decided to go for the Time Warrior. He has a really big old sword. This sword, um, the only reason it looks like that is because it's a cosmetic, okay? And this is the Loot Vault. And this is where you're actually going to be able to go and sell items, okay? So if we go press the Go to the Marketplace button, it's actually going to take us to the in-game marketplace, okay? So if we go to the Explore Market, you can actually see that if we go to the Filter, you know, weapons, for example, you can see you could actually go and buy, you know, a rare sword, a rare axe, sorry, for, you know, $59. You may not want a, a rare, you might want a, you know, you may want this uh, this axe here, for example, okay? It looks quite nice. You can actually select it, buy the one you want, head over to your game once that's all synced, and then you can actually equip that to your character, okay? So we could actually change it. Okay, so that's not supported. Okay, there we are. So we have our long sword. Really big old sword here. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to run around the map, uh, which if you're new to the game, you know, you should definitely run around the map. It's absolutely beautiful. We went on stream with big time and, and ran up to the ice castle, uh, which was absolute, absolutely amazing time. As we can see here, guys, here's one of the portals. Okay. So hoping it's going to be a fairly low level one. You can see it's four to ten and there's actually a max party size of six and it's going to be open for six more minutes. This is one I may struggle with because I'm only you know, level three on this character. So I'm actually going to be completely out of my depth there. Okay, so I may not want to do that one. But for the example of the video, I'm going to show you, you know what you need to do, how you would go about doing it. Okay, everyone. So we're now in the in the rift. Uh, this is what you're standing in. This is basically just going to heal us up before the game because your health, um, it does really slowly um, sort of regenerate. But unless you're using a potion or using a skill, you're going to want to stand in one of these to give you a little health boost. Okay. So these do actually spawn randomly. They, they follow similar themes, but they do have random objectives, random uh, land. So it's sort of like a new, a new puzzle every time you go into one. You can see my objective in the top right is actually the mission objective is to destroy wanderers. Okay, so we're going to go try and find some wanderers. Oh, <laughs> I don't think we're meant to jump there, but we'll show you a little bit about what the combat's like. Okay. Okay, I'm, I lost a lot of damage. Yeah, it's not a great start. See, this is actually level six. This is going to really hurt me already. Um, but there we go. That's not one of them, but at least it's a kill. Look at that damage, man. There we are. Look at that beautiful animation. So, when you're playing the game, um, if I press, you know, one, that's going to be like the regen. You know, so I'm currently regenerating my health. You can do this in between fights to make sure you know you're staying healthy and topped up. Okay. Number two. You know, this is just your hot bar for abilities. So you can actually change the abilities you have down there. So if we go to our skill tree, you know, you might want to have 
your potions. You may only want to have a health potion because you haven't got enough ability slots, okay? So if we go to our skill trees, you know, this kick, once we get the kick to a certain level, we can then start to upgrade into the breach, which is going to allow us to do more damage and provide an aura. Or likewise, we could go down the worldwide. The ultimate ability unleashes a whirlwind of death, <laughs> which sounds which sounds awesome. Hold the cast key down to continue spinning. So that definitely sounds like one I want. But to get there, I need to have two requires two of blood spate aura and I have zero and also two of the taunt and I have one. So I'm going to need to upgrade. So, you know, you're going to need to put your time into this game and upgrade. And that's what makes it fun, right? So we're going to hopefully kill some more things, um, pick up some items, maybe even with a lucky get an NFT loot, which uh, which happens. You can see in my inventory, I actually have. Sorry, I actually have that rare land. Now, that's actually going to be redeemable for real land in the game, guys. So, you know, if you have your beta pass, you could actually go about and win. That's awesome. Oh, wow. That's got slowed massively there. You can see the attack animation, right? Because I'm, I'm sort of a clunky warrior, right? And I'm also playing on the NA server right now, and I'm in the UK. It's kind of a little bit clunkier than it than it would be if you um, if you're playing on good ping. But, you know, we're, we're kind of going to die here, guys. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Right, so we somehow managed to get out of there alive. Uh, these little crab things are chasing after us. <laughs> I don't have any health potions, so we're just going to quickly go into... Oh wow, I can't. What the hell? Something's not working. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> this is a real nightmare situation here, guys. Bosh, there we go. So we managed to kill the little crabs. And we're going to go and just heal up. Maybe I couldn't heal up because I was too close to enemies. That's often quite common. But in the distance there, guys, you can see an absolute massive crab-looking monster, which I'm going to have to fight. <laughs> so we're going to show off the awesome features in this game, which allow you to change between classes instantly. So if I just go change timeline and I change over to the Chronomancer, here we are, look. Bang. You know, I'm now the Chronomancer. I have a different set of abilities. I have different items in my inventory. Now, these items here, they always stay the same. These items always stay the same. But you see, I have a little bag here. That's going to allow you to have individual items. So if I put this chill immunity here, I change my timeline. You can see that chill immunity is now gone. There's items in here. Okay. So you want to be pretty intelligent. You want to be pretty intelligent where you put your items and, and what items you have because you don't want to potentially miss out on a gold mine. Okay. But anyway, we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go sort of pull aggro on this monster. See what level it is. Okay, level seven, Bob the Wanderer. It's not a great sign. We've got barely any health because I didn't complete the. Uh, I didn't complete my healing up. So we're gonna run back. Quickly change the Chronomancer, and it's still going on live. By the way, when we play, nothing stops. So I could actually get destroyed here. Oh my god. It came very quick out of nowhere. But you can see, like, if you have um, a lot more people, this is going to be so much easier, guys. So because it's just myself uh, showing for, like, demonstration purposes, it's going to be really hard. And I wouldn't do this properly. I'm just trying to show you, you know, what you can do. If you're a really skilled player and you're really good at this game, then you might be able to, but, you know, I'm not a mage. Unfortunately. Wish I was. <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I'm the mage right now. That little hit. I shouldn't be getting a hit. You know, as a mage, you shouldn't really be getting a hit. You're too squishy for that. We'll change to the Shadow Blade, see if we can do some stuff there. The Shadow Blade is sort of like the quick assassin, you know how it goes. And there we go. <laughs> but as you can imagine, if we have like someone who's healing, we have a tank, we have two mages, and we have, you know, some DPS, you know, this could be a really interesting dynamic. So effectively, you know, that's big time, guys. When you spawn back in, you know, you're going to spawn in. You haven't lost any items. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, you haven't lost any XP. So, you know, the only thing you're losing is not getting that loot at the end. But hey, guys, it's a game. You're meant to be having fun. And it's meant to be a challenge, right? Uh, but look, thanks for tuning in. That was, um, that was episode one. We're going to be talking about as we go through the game and level up, you know, what you may want to do. In the future, we're going to have strategy guides about, you know, what's the best build. There's a lot of potential in this game, guys. So make sure you stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. And, uh, you know, peace, guys. Take it easy.